First, I showed you guys how to make friends in college, and now I'll show you how to get a girlfriend in college. If you want a boyfriend, all you have to do is compliment him and he'll remember it for the rest of his life, and maybe even think about marriage. Let's go over some fundamentals. You should be fulfilling these things and most of your work will be cut out for you. Number one, take care of yourself. This comes down to hygiene and working out. Your hygiene is non-negotiable. I don't think there's one girl in this world that would want to be with someone that smells like dookie. You could look like Felix, but if you smell bad, it just ruins everything. There's nothing good about a bad smell. It's just pure negative thoughts. Don't be a stinky winky. In addition to taking care of yourself, you can create an even better first impression when you have some nice toned muscles. Everyone and their grandma knows how hard it is to gain some muscles. You can't just go into the muscle store and buy some muscles. But remember this, the more muscles you have does not necessarily mean more attraction. There's a Goldilocks area. Number two, don't call her mommy. Number three, treat others nicely even animals. If a girl sees you being mean to others, that paints you in a bad light and she'll think that you could be mean to her, her friends, or her family. If you're mad and you start punching the wall and slamming your fist on your desk, the girl's gonna think you would be an abusive partner. Since I appreciate my subscribers so much, I will give you guys a secret bonus tip. There's an ancient Chinese proverb for relationship advice that I remember reading. Being mysterious can attract others. Most of us can relate to having a crush in our class. Most of the time, we haven't talked to them before, so we're just watching them from a distance. And because they're mysterious, we naturally want to imagine them as an ideal love interest. We're probably imagining what their voice sounds like, what their hobbies are. Not knowing this person makes us more attracted to them. But there's a fine line that you have to walk across because if you act too mysterious, the girl will think you're not interested. Okay, so here are some practical situations where you can show off these new skills. Let's say you're at the college gym and there's an attractive girl nearby. Don't be all macho and slam the weights down. Be a cool cucumber. Okay, go up to her and politely ask how many sets she has left. If she's in the middle of working out, wait for her to finish and then ask her. It shows that you respect her time. Hi, how many sets do you have left? Two more. Ah, okay. Thanks, man. Don't call her man, dude. Uh... Okay, look, that girl's coming up to you now. Remember to show that you're a clean guy in a public space. Are you done with the leg press machine? Yeah, would you like me to wipe it down for you? No, bro, you should be cleaning it regardless. What do you think she's gonna say? Yeah, you made a whole mess, SpongeBob. Uh, it's okay, I can do that. See, I told you. Well, I actually made that mistake before, but calling her man, really? That's the girl you like? Okay, I have to bring in the big guns. Put your wrists out. Okay, now walk by her and sit next to her. Go before someone takes that spot. Wow, you smell really good. <laughs> Thanks. Hello? Say something. Are you in a group yet for the project? No. Do you want to join mine? Sure, how many else are in it? It'll just be me and you. No! Man, I failed my first student. Hey Kevin, I'd like you to meet my new girlfriend. Huh? 